Welcome to BioFlock. We're going to review a quick view of how to access information and use this livestock management tool to manage your flock. Uh, we would enter a seven-digit ID and password, which would take you to the main page, listing brief uh, general information on BioFlock and the first steps on setup, and then how to view the animals down below. Uh, initially, we'll walk through setup. Uh, producer information lists all the details, how to contact you and any flock letters you use. Location structure breaks down where your animals are located in your operation, various barns, pastures, pens, so that when you manage the animals later on, you have that setup completed. User accounts is when you have multiple people yeah, adding information into BioFlock, you can indicate which person is adding which piece of information. Custom identities, there are five standard identities within BioFlock. The first being the BioTattoo, which is made up of flock letters, a management number, and then a year and generation code letter to indicate the birth year of that uh, sheep. There is also the ear tag to manage the animal's information. There is the registration name and ID. And then there are three custom identities which can be used for different things like steel ear tags or pet names. Email notifications are important. Uh, later on you will see an event uh, for flags to review animals at a later date. And setting up that email indicates where we're going to send that report later on. When we view the animals, we would go to Animals and You and View My Views. Each of the animals, either you, ram, or lamb, would be accessed the same way. And this takes you to a layout which we call the grid, very similar to an Excel spreadsheet. This light, light gray row lists all the pieces of information you would want to see on your views. And you can click the Show Customization window to add an additional column into this view. The field chooser lists all the pieces of information alphabetically so that you can find that uh, piece of information more quickly. You can sort each of these columns by clicking once ascending and then twice to sort it descending. And you can rearrange the columns by clicking and dragging to the appropriate place in your view that you have established here. Once you have all of the pieces of information set up on this light gray row, you can click Save Layout As and save that view for your use at a later date. You can also export this list of information to Excel to do further analysis, or you can export it as a PDF, and an example would be to send a report with the truckload of animals that have left your farm. If we go to Events and view Add Purchase, this is where you would add animals, either adding lambs or purchased user rams or lambs into your flock. The dam and sire are entered above, and all the lambing details are then entered on the, under the basic info block within this screen. If you don't know dam and sire, you also need to indicate breed and percentage. If it's an animal you have purchased into the flock, you can enter the details on the purchase details portion of this screen and then click Save and your animal has then been added to your flock. Another way to add animals into BioFlock is to click on Import Animal Data. You may be loading animals in in a large uh, volume and may not want to do it one by one. You click Download Import Template. That will allow you to open up an Excel template where all the highlighted yellow columns are required and then you would save that to your desktop Come back into BioFlock and find the file that you've saved and then click Upload File. And the bottom portion of this screen would give you the results on the import of those animals into your uh, management tool of BioFlock. The next uh, other events within BioFlock are done in a two-step process. First, you would select the animals you are applying the event details to and then you would add the details. The events uh, listed are animal movements within your groups and from another producer, uh, health vaccination, expense details by location or by animal, a flag event where you could indicate a follow-up look at certain sheep. 
You could indicate animals you would like to be called from your flock, or you could indicate animals to be flushed. There are several reasons listed in that event itself. Uh, you can indicate pregnancy check details in the events, sales, weighing, and death information. And if we looked at one event in particular, we would go and select the animals we're applying the details to. And if it's a health event, we would click Next. And then either add the health event details generally at the top of the screen, or for individual animals, we may want to indicate individual weights. We can do that on the specific animal line down below. And we would save that information, and that would be recorded as an event for those specific animals. There are six reports within BioFlock. The Animal Production and Performance Record is a report it's very similar to a report card. It lists the animal identifiers, the pedigree information, the genetic evaluations, or EPDs, and it will also list any natural-born progeny to this ewe uh, or ram. Animal history, as we add more events to an animal, animal history will list all of those events, let us know what date the event was applied, what happened to the animal on that date, any cost information, any other specific details, and who entered that information, and also where the animal was located at the time of the event. Flock performance, you would select a year that you wanted to view, and then BioFlock would pull in the four years prior to that and average them to give you a five-year view of your performance of your flock. Flock management looks more closely at a lambing season and gives you the details uh, to review your lambing season and make decisions going forward. The flag report will list all the animals with the various reasons they have been flagged and the date that the flag uh, was indicated for for follow-up. Ram productivity report will list all the rams within your flock and it will show you the progeny uh, performance on those rams, average those out so that you can make a, a very well decision about calling or next trait that's of importance on your next ram selected for your flock. That is a general overview of BioFlock. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call Bio. Thanks.